The Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps from the 3rd U.S. Infantry Division passing in front of the official party for this week's Joint Task Force National Capital Region and Army Military District of Washington change of command. We'll have details in a moment. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, highlights from the June Town Hall, a focus on safety and a look ahead to Fort Meade's Independence Day celebration. These stories and more, but first important news from the Fort Meade Police. Gate guards are conducting a 100% ID card scan of everyone entering the installation through June 15th as directed by the Department of the Army. Anyone visiting Fort Meade without a common access card or who aren't being escorted by someone with a CAC or military ID will be directed to the Rockenbach Gate Monday through Friday from 5.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. or the MAPES 175 Gate outside of those hours to receive a one-day pass. Anyone requiring a long-term pass must go to the Visitor Control Center at 4215 Roberts Avenue during normal business hours. At this week's Town Hall, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp talked about the reasons for the 100% scan. We need to make sure that we don't have everybody just change their patterns uh, because one of the things that will hurt us is if suddenly everybody who normally comes in between 7 and 9 o'clock in the morning decides they're going to come in 10 to 11 that will change our numbers and throughput and that could impact ultimately our authorizations and we like to have the guards that we have you can watch june's installation town hall in its entirety on our facebook page in other news major general alan pepin relinquished command of the joint task force national capital region and u.s army military district of washington to major general trevor Breedenkamp in ceremonies this week at joint base meyer henderson hall i leave this command with great pride after serving this incredible team of teams of service members, NCOs, warrant officers, officers, civilians and leaders that led them. You, you set the great example and accomplishments and mission execution of the last two years, improving readiness in the changing environment. I cannot think of a better leader and partner than Trevor Bredenkamp to lead this command. I'm incredibly humbled and honored to have the privilege of the obligation to serve the service members, civilians and family members of MDW and the JTF NCR. General Breedenkamp is now Fort Meade's Senior Installation Commander. His previous assignment was Chief Legislative Liaison Office, Office of the Secretary of the Army. General Pepin now heads for Peterson Air Force Base, Colorado, as the Chief of Staff, U.S. Northern Command. Elsewhere, the Garrison Safety Office staged a safety expo just before the Memorial Day weekend at McGill Training Center. With June being National Safety Month, Garrison Safety Director Gabe Engel explains why the extra emphasis on safety heading into the summer months. In keeping with the, the typical hazards of the season, being uh, heat injury prevention, water safety, uh, and um, motorcycle and POV safety are our primary focuses because they, those remain our highest uh, hazard areas that uh, service members and civilians encounter in their off-duty activities. For more information on Fort Meade safety programs, you can call the safety office at 301-677-4867. In a related story, the Army Combat Readiness Center publishes a series of summer safety ads every year. This one we're showing you today focuses on water safety. Oh look, one of my favorite mixes, alcohol and water. There's nothing like consuming a beverage that might distort your perception of risk or abilities before entering a large body of water that could have unknown currents or submerged hazards. Hey, where the heck are you guys? I'm already three beers in. All right, forget them. Surprise! And now we're getting to the good stuff. Involuntary breath holding, unconsciousness, hypoxic convulsions, and of course, my favorite, death. Death with a lot of drama is good for the soul. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> I don't have a soul. <laughs> Finally this week, Fort Meade's annual Independence Day Red, White and Blue celebration is scheduled for Friday, June 30th. It starts at 6 p.m. in the McLaughlin Parade Field. There will be food trucks, craft vendors and a DJ providing musical entertainment. The main event, the fireworks, started about 9.30. That's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great Meade Week.